Hi, thanks for tuning in. I'm Jeannie Darneal, and I'm proud to represent the 27th District, which includes many great neighborhoods in Tacoma, Fife, and Ruston. Much of the news this week is about the federal stimulus package that was just signed into law by President Obama. It's good news that will bring billions of dollars to Washington to help us improve roads and bridges, support education, and provide relief for struggling families. This much-needed relief will include a refundable tax credit, a boost in unemployment insurance benefits, subsidies for COBRA health insurance premiums, and much more. Most importantly, the federal package will generate an estimated 75,000 jobs in Washington. That's very good news. But we need to be realistic. What the federal stimulus package won't do is solve the state budget crisis you've heard about. In fact, only a fraction of the federal help can be used for the budget deficit, which is growing because of the national and now international recession. The latest revenue forecast shows the expected revenue shortfall has grown to over $8 billion for the next couple of years. That's nearly a quarter of the total budget. As chair of Washington's Caseload Forecast Council, which projects future needs for the state services, I can tell you a new caseload forecast is coming that will show a growing need for services. Lower revenues, higher needs, it's a painful squeeze. I'm also chair of the General Government Appropriations Committee, so I know this squeeze between lower revenues and higher needs requires dramatic budget cuts. The target for my committee is to cut $601 million from 80 agency budgets. Frankly, I think we'll need to ask the public to vote for additional revenues to cushion the financial blows to schools, services, and families. But for now, our entire focus is on cutting the budget. Believe me, this budget challenge will test our values. I believe with all my heart that tough times are no excuse for abandoning the priorities that matter most to us, such as access to health care, education, and compassion for vulnerable families. No priority is higher than keeping faith with our values. So you can be sure I'll be fighting for Washington families in the months ahead. I'm Jeannie Darneal. Thanks for joining me today.